cooking today. I could get out there under that umbrella, but nasty. Still real heavy clouds, but looking at the radar, we don't have anything else coming for a while, probably till late tonight or tomorrow out of Florida. So I think I'm good to go. All I need is a couple hours anyway. Hey friends, today is Memorial Day. We want to remember all those who gave all in our nation's military, all branches. I have an uncle and a cousin uh, who fits in that bracket who gave all. We just want to honor them today and remember them today and uh, pay our respects. Today's cook, I'm doing something fast that won't take long. It's a chicken cook on my Weber Smoky Mountain. And you know, I'm a hook hanging son of a gun. I'm gonna use these hooks. I've got nine chicken quarters that I'm gonna hang. Uh, I'm just gonna hang them all together. Kinda like that. And I'm gonna have about four in each one. So that way I can hang them out there get it going and go back to work on my kitchen and so I'll keep you up with uh, what's going on so you stay tuned and we'll be right back. I've already washed this chicken and got it prepped and now I'm gonna go on with some uh, SPG salt pepper garlic it's always good to start with that I got to where I like Tony Chattery's on just about everything so I'm gonna Put some of that on it. Over at Big Lou Barbecue would agree with that. Alright, I'm going to flip it over, do the other side, and I'll meet you out at the smoke. Still sitting under this tarp on the table. Hadn't had a chance to uncover it yet. Hmm. It's good to check, make sure your vents are where they want, where you want them to be. Cause it's easy to forget, overlook. Oh, look at there. A hanging rack. This is the Weber extension rack. They, Weber does not offer this anymore, offer this anymore, but you can get something comparable for great gateway drums. They have a small and a large, and this, the large would fit this 22 and a half inch Weber Smoky Mountain. In case you're interested in something like this, go to Gateway Drum. If you got a 22, get the one for the large Gateway Drum. If you got an 18 Weber, you can get the small one. It does the same thing, it's just configured a little different. And if you want to know more about it, go to Raleigh Smoke, and John will show you all about it. He's got a great video out there. Okay, we're going to close the lid and wait for this to come up to a decent temp. And uh, I'll come back. I got this little thing here. Some of you have seen it. Some of you may not. I ordered this off of Amazon. It's just a little telephone or uh iPhone or a smartphone holder. It's got a clip on one end, a spring loaded. And I put this garage door handle on each side of this WSM. A little piece of vacuum cleaner pipe. You can use any kind of pipe, nipple, EMT, anything like that, and put a eight inch bolt through here. And uh, that's the way I did it. I mean, you can do it different ways. I, I, I put my uh, Thermoworks smoke in this and it works good you know it does have a magnetic back but you got to keep this electronics away from that heat because that heat if it gets too hot it will melt stuff so you have to get some distance between you and in the heat or between this and the heat that's why I use this 170 
This is the meat. The temperature inside, 350. It probably will before it settles down. And then the low of 250, that's fine. Well, I'm gonna cut it off for now because it's just 200. All right, temps up the, in the 250s. I'm gonna go ahead and load it up. Take this and hook them. Hook them and cook them. Okay. Three deep. Let's go three deep, boys. I don't want any more weight on that top one. I don't know how much it'll hold. I put a, a grate in the bottom over the charcoal just in case something decides to give way. Uh, it'll fall on the uh, grate. Oh, there's a lot of different ways you could do this, I know. I, I well know I could put these on a grate, but I like playing with stuff. You know me. All right, close her up and let her go for a while. I'm going to start my little timer here on my time stamp. Here we go. We cook it. We'll come back in, I don't know, an hour or so and check on it. Just so you know, I cut the, uh, I turned the vents back halfway on all three vents at the bottom. And I'm trucking right now at 295. And this one on the top says 250, 255. It's, it's a reference. I, I adjusted that thing out one time, but I found out that once you think you got it adjusted, it's, it, you know, I tried to sink it with the grate level, but I just could not get it to be consistent. So I just took it back to boiling water uh, setting, and that's where I got it. So that's that. Okay, Later. it's been 36 minutes, and... We're running 319. The meat's already up to 133. I need to check that and make sure that's right. The uh, thermostat on top of WSM is 300, so we're getting closer together. <laughs> uh, I did need to uh, close each one of these vents about a quarter. I got them all three closed to a quarter. I'm not using a water pan. This is a direct pit cook, so just like a pit barrel cook. Hour. Let's see if I can put a little sauce. I got some Eastern barbecue sauce made. Just slosh on here. I don't want to pick these up, so I'm just going to kind of do it like this. I don't want to separate them. Or Make them come apart. Looking pretty good. It's not bad. I'll take that. Okay. Won't be long. The uh, temp's up to 148. So we're not far away. I'll be back. The rain just would not hold off. I've been cooking for two hours and 11 minutes. The chicken's done. It's at 165. I was going to let it go to 170. Had to move my Weber Smoky Mountain. Just like I said, you know, that's why you need the rollers. I rolled it from out there up under that umbrella. Worked like a charm. So we'll be taking the chicken off shortly. We got some squash, zucchini, and onion going in the fat back pot. Woo, yeah. SPG going in. Squash. Fresh squash out the garden. Fresh zucchini out of the fill in Florence garden and onion not out of my garden <laughs> all right guys 
This stuff's been on two hours and 19 minutes. It's at 167. I'm gonna go ahead and call it. I think what I'm gonna do is pull it by each bar. Pull that, get that out of the way. Let that drop. Pull that out. Okay. Better get this pan close, just in case. There you go. Turn this off. This is a lot easier. Just grabbing the whole bar and lifting it out instead of trying to monkey with that tool until we can get to where we need to be. You see that? Coming out with it. Into this tray here. There we go. All right, I'll meet you at the table. How about that? All right, guys. I got some Eastern Carolina barbecue sauce here. Put it on there. And let it really get some love, Eastern Carolina, vinegar-based love. Real easy to make. You can make it in about five minutes. But it's really good season. All right. We're going to cover this up and let it rest a little while. And Janet's got some sides she's working on you saw the zucchini and squash and onions and we're gonna have some mashed potatoes with that something easy all that's real easy to do so we'll be back with you for a taste test shortly let's make a plate ooh look at that chicken it's been sitting over here resting for about an hour so a quarter yeah, we're on the back porch, guys. Remember, we're in a kitchen remodel, so this is our kitchen. I'm gonna get some mashed potatoes, and this was mashed. Janet likes to whip them, but in this situation, we just use the old masher. <laughs> Let's go over here and see what's in this pot. Janet's got something over here. This is zucchini and squash out of the garden. With the, onion. With onion. Bill and Florence garden. I've, saw, I've let y'all follow along and see a little bit of the garden activity. Better push that back on there. All right, let's go What's in the that? kitchen. Where am I at? Does this look strange? This is our new kitchen so far. <laughs> we got the tile in, the fridge hooked back up, a new washer and dryer going. We're just waiting Tuesday for our guy to come put the cabinets in. We'll see if the rain's gonna let him. Let's go in and see what this chicken's all about. You saw what I used on it. I used the SPG Tony Satry and East Carolina vinegar sauce. A very good uh, barbecue chicken. All right, that chicken's good. Let's taste this uh, zucchini and squash and onions. Out of the garden. Can't beat that. Mm. With fat back. That is delicious. Good job, Janet. And the mashed potatoes. You know, uh, boil some potatoes, mash them, salt, pepper, butter, butter, a little bit of milk. Can't beat that either. Well, this is our cook for today, Memorial Day 2018. 
and we're in the middle of our remodel. We're turning the corner. So we're, we're really coming down the home stretch now. So it won't be long, you'll see the final results. And I think you'll like it. So until next time, this is Phil and Florence. And Janet and Florence. That's right. See you. Bye.